Hey, what's up, YouTube? Who's your pep guy here? Hope all you guys are doing well out there. Say so tonight, with this video, I wanted to bring you guys was uh, I think all of us out there, when you know, in our pipes and our you know pipes and cigars and everything we smoke, you know, everything we do for our hobby, we all have something in our collection that we think is either really cool or something you know that's really meaningful, sentimental, valuable, stuff like that. But what I wanted to show you guys tonight is an ashtray. Um, I was thinking about doing this video for a while, I just hadn't gotten around to it, but i uh, been really swamped with school, but uh, anyway, this was something I picked up at a gun show of all places, it was about, oh man, it was last year at least, it was about July, yeah, July of 2012, there was a, a gun shop down in this old um, old department store, it used to be uh, Kay's Merchandise, but it shut it down and it was rent space and I was I figured what the heck I got off work and went and checked it out I thought I might find a deal or two but there was this guy he had a table of just like old military stuff you know anything from little medallions and buttons canteens you name it and I came across this ashtray and uh, it had a it was a it was a navy navy ashtray from a ship and he didn't know much about it and he just said it was his buddies and he wanted to get rid of it and uh, I think he had a $20 tag on it. Anyway, I asked him if he'd take 10 and uh, he, um, he figured that was cool and he took 10 well, I got home and I did some research. And uh, before I get into that, I'll let you guys see it. Yeah, let's see if it'll focus. Is a the USS Howard Gilmore. And it fits my most of my cigars just right. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a, um, a, a cigarette ashtray, but... Uh, on the grooves, you know, right here, most of my sticks will fit just fine, and it ended up working out really well. But as I did some research on it, it turned out this uh, ashtray and its ship that it came from actually had a little bit of history, and I think that's what makes it cool to me. It's nothing sentimental, but just something I can, you know, if I'm ever having some friends over, you know, they're asking, you know, ask about my ashtray, I can you know, give them a little history lesson because what I uncovered is the uh, the Gilmore. He was actually a, a submarine tender, a Fulton-class submarine tender. And uh, apart from what I could find, it was uh, launched well, it was launched in 43 and it made it to Pearl Harbor in 44. And basically, uh, all it did was run missions, just resupplying subs and, I think, other ships. And uh, it went, it ran around, God, well, God knows, all over the world. It ran from Pearl Harbor to the Philippines to Australia back and forth just um, running supplies torpedoes food training r repair stuff like that to subs all across all across the world that it um had orders to meet up with from including australia like i mentioned um allied forces and british subs and american subs um and uh apparently from what it was what i could find on the internet you know lord knows we can trust the internet but anyway um it was a key player in the resupply of most subs in the Pacific in the Pacific War, when they said it really hastened like it hastened the war to come to an end with Japan. And but I think after after the World War II, it really slowed down and it mo mostly just did preparedness missions and stuff like that. But it had a second run with the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. It ran uh, round-the-clock services for two sub-squadrons down in the Caribbean to keep the, the naval quarantine on Cuba during the crisis. And, uh, that was that was pretty cool. I mean, well, I mean, running missions for World War II is one thing, but actually, you know, we all learned about the crisis in high school um, with JFK and that whole chestnut. I thought that was nifty, but... Um, I don't know that... I couldn't find any information on it, per se, as this specific one the back, you know, it's got a little, it's like felt, Now I'm pretty sure that was just added on in recent years, because it feels new, but this, it's, it's not heavy, but it's not light, so I'm imagining it's probably a, just cast from aluminum, and I just thought the detail was really cool, because if you can see up close, it's got the, uh, the nautical creatures, and the, uh, the ship itself, and servicing the subs, and, uh, after the 60s, it kind of went into decommission. It wasn't fully decommissioned, but it was sent to Italy for about 10 years, and then it was finally decommissioned in 1980. <clears throat> and uh, 
fast forwarding another 20 years it, um, it got scrapped in 2006 so out of that ship you know it wasn't widely it wasn't a widely known ship but it still you know had a big role you know it did its part and another fun fact I thought that was cool about it is that it was at the uh, uh, crap what was that called it was uh, give me a minute <laughs> actually I got it on my note here somewhere um, yeah, it took part in the uh, Navy Day celebrations uh, when in New York that was uh, celebrated, and where Harry S. Truman actually uh, assessed and uh, assessed the fleet. And um, I thought that was pretty neat because you know when all the ships are coming home from the war, the the Gilmore actually got to be there, and um, and it's just little things I thought were cool. And hang on. One other thing I thought that was pretty cool about it is the ship's motto was service for the silent service. And if you ask me, I think that's pretty badass because, like I mentioned, it wasn't a famous ship, but it definitely did its part to the fullest extent. And remembering that this is my uh, cigar tray, I'm hoping to do some videos here in the near future on my cigars. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do that considering the weather's getting warmer. It was uh, 73 degrees today. It was the first time for Indiana so far this year, and hopefully it stays that way, but knock on wood. <laughs> We can only hope for the best, but for now, say I'm going to take off out of here, and I'll catch you guys later. Say, y'all take care, keep them smoking, and see you later.